What's good? It's Kev with KevWestBeats.com here with another tutorial for a reason. Uh, this video is going to be on how to use time stretching in Record 1.5 or with Lethal 6 as it comes out. As most of you guys already know, a lot of these videos I make are for Record 1.5 and these features will also work in Lethal 6. Anyway, here we go. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how the time stretch feature works and it's actually quite simple it's actually really really nice i've seen it a lot throughout the net as far as people asking well how do you do it how does it work can you do it in the rack devices and the answer is no you can't do it in the rack devices um but this is how it does work and actually to me this makes a little more sense this is how you would do it in any other doll that i could think of you would actually get your loop going in the sequencer stretch it and then put it into the sample. And that's what I'm going to do here. So anyway, this is a acapella vocal I downloaded off the internet. The artist's name is NNXT. She does pop music mostly. Um, the song is called Drunk Texting. And I'm just, the tempo is off. It's out of sync and everything. Let me turn off the stretch while we're here so it doesn't throw it off anymore. Um, and it's all out of whack. I'm doing this just to make the point that this is completely at offbeat, completely out of time, and I know it is. So let's give this a quick listen. It all started with the poke, and next thing I know, we were meeting up for drinks, talking about the music we make. And as you see, again, it's completely offbeat. Um, tempos and everything are different. Now I'm gonna fix this because I know the tempo. Um, again, in NXT, the singer, she hangs around the reason forums, which I frequent myself. And she put these things up, up for the song. And she told us they were 134 beats per minute. I know it's 134 beats per minute. So I'm going to just go in here and I'm going to do some trimming and fixing real quick. If you give me a moment. It all started with the poke and next. And next thing I know, we were meeting up for drinks, talking about the music we make. You were instantly my weakness, cause you DJ and you dance, you're on the radio, and I listened to your show, it was love at first sight. And here you go, so now it's on beat, and I'm going to show you how to actually do the actual time stretching. What you're going to do is really simple, you go onto the file. Or this audio sample here, right, right click. You see the drop down comes down, and you're going to go scroll until you see enable stretch. Enable that stretch. Now, what it's going to do is usually it'll just force it back to the beginning of the nearest four bars. It all started with the poke, and next thing I know, we were meeting up for drinks, talking about the music we make. You were instantly my weakness Cause you DJ and you dance on the radio And I listened to your show It was love at first sight And as you see now it's on beat Now um, and Again I'll show you what I did I right click Right now it's stretched I click enable stretch And now just to show you what the time stretch does You see it's 134 beats per minute I'm going to drop down to 90 It all started with the poke and next thing I know, we were meeting up for drinks, talking about the music we make. It is it's pretty seamless, really easy to do. And just because, again, I just want to show the drasticness. And there aren't, there's not much difference in audio quality. You listen here, now I bumped up to 150 again from the original 134. It all started with the puck. And next thing I know, we were meeting up for drinks. About the music we make. Alright, and now we'll take it from here. I'm just going to take this first part of the verse, just this first bar. It all started with the pump. Just take this right here and I'll delete the rest of this. I'll show you just how you can chop into the timeline, too. Alright, and Highlight all of this. 
select the razor tool. We are going to put it on quarter beats because I'm going to chop this down to the quarter beat. As simple as one and two and three. And four pieces. Highlight all four of them. I'm going to right click, bounce clips to new samples. Let me do this thing for a minute. Okay, now you see the samples have been bounced to the tool window where the samples go. Next, we're going to go into the wrap. I'm going to pull up in the next drop down to the sample window like I would normally do without importing multiple samples. We'll go into the song samples folder, unassigned samples, control A, select all four, import the samples, right click, and then we're going to go to uh, automatic, automatic zones chromatically, and here we go. And now you see you have all four samples laid out across the keyboard. I'm going to turn this up just so you might be able to hear it a little better. It all started with the poke. And that should be playing it over my MIDI keyboard. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the description. Please um, rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for other videos, I'd love to see them. Um, I've been getting a lot of feedback on my Facebook page, and I really love it. Uh, for those of you that haven't checked it out yet, the Loose Patches Refill is still available on my Facebook page. Um, all patches that I just had sitting on my system, I decided to clean it up and bundle them into a refill and I'm giving it away to those who want it. I'll ask that you like my Facebook page and you'll find it right there on the wall. Also, for those of you interested, um, on my SoundCloud page, I have released a new EP with Killer Tracks called I Hate Mixtapes. It's done, it's available, it's three songs, completely free, um, so check it out, let me know what you think, please share this video with a friend, and thank you for checking, it, checking this out.